Hey there, and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. Today's episode is for you. We're diving into the Spring 25 unit, Get Hands On with the View All Fields permission. By the time we wrap up, you'll know exactly how to let certain users see every field on a single object, and you'll have built, start to finish, a permission set called View Account Fields. Two learning objectives, tons of real-world value, all in a matter of minutes. So, what does the View All Fields permission actually do? Think of those colleagues who need to audit data or build complex reports, but keep bumping into hidden field roadblocks. Instead of toggling individual field permissions and inevitably missing one, you grant the object level view all fields permission. From that moment on, the user can view every field, standard today, custom tomorrow, on that object. Any new fields you add later become visible automatically, meaning no more weekend FLS cleanup sessions. Because Salesforce best practice nudges us toward permission sets instead of profiles, that's exactly where the switch lives. Open a permission set, head to object settings, select an object, click edit, tick view all fields, click save, and you're done. It's simple, scalable, and available across Lightning Experience and, where enabled, Salesforce Classic. Ready to put theory into action? Fire up your Trailhead Playground or favorite dev org and follow along. To get started, launch your Salesforce org by clicking launch from the challenge card or select an org you've already set up. Once you're in, head to setup by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner, then use the quick find bar to search for permission sets. Click new to create a new permission set. Enter the details as follows. For the label, type view account fields. The API name will autofill and for the description, enter something clear, like permission to access all account fields, then click save to create the permission set. Next, you'll configure access to the account object. From the permission set detail page, scroll down and click object settings, then find and select accounts from the list. Click edit and under the field permission section, check the box labeled view all. This gives users full visibility into every field on the account object. Click Save to apply the change. Now it's time to assign the permission set. Back on the permission set detail page, click Manage Assignments, then select Add Assignments. From here, choose your own user account and any teammates who also need this level of access. Click Assign, and once it completes, hit Done. That's it. You've successfully created and assigned a permission set that grants full visibility to all fields on accounts. It's a clean, efficient solution that avoids editing user profiles or manually managing field level access one checkbox at a time. Why does this matter in the real world? Picture an auditor prepping for quarter end reviews or a power analyst building cross object dashboards. They need the entire data picture, not a jigsaw missing half the pieces. View all fields delivers that clarity while still respecting object level and record level security. So you're not throwing the data doors wide open. You're simply turning on the lights in rooms they already have permission to enter. Let's recap the big points. First, one checkbox beats hours of micromanagement. A single tick grants full field visibility, including future fields you haven't even created yet. Second, permission sets keep profiles lean layering extra access only where needed. Finally, you just built and assigned the view account fields permission set in under five minutes. Not bad for a day's work. If this walkthrough saved you time or spared you a headache, tap like, smash subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss one of our trailhead deep dives. Drop a comment telling us where you'll deploy view all fields first, or ask any Salesforce question on your mind. We read every single comment. Thanks for learning with the Declarative Academy today. Bye for now.